Well, you mentioned uh, you don't like to get in the politics of it, and I don't blame you. That's all the minutia. But I have a question um, with the Caterpillar song you did with M that then had the remix with Logic. Was that something that like you had like Logic you had planned and then M heard and was like, man, I got a fucking rap on this. And then you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> or was that just like, oh, how did oh, that? Because Logic, I did get the Logic verse first. Mm -hmm. I, I figured. Yeah, yeah. I got the Logic verse first. I can't remember why. I had the logic verse first because I always wanted it to be a remix. But um you know what, Ellie? I do remember. Um I wanted logic for the remix and I wanted M on the main version, but logic sent his verse before M did his. Got it. And, Got it. and I remember that because I remember playing it for Marshall because Marshall was like, I want to hear what he did. And I played it for him. He, he was like, All right, dope. So all right, I got an idea of what I need to do. So he went in there and knocked it out for me. I think we were traveling together at that time. Is that what partially led to M working with Logic? Because then after that, after the remix came out, then he did the thing on Logic's album where it was the chicka, chicka, chicka. Uh, yeah. You know, you know what, <clears throat> you know what led to that? Um, Paul, Paul was uh, running Def Jam at that time. Oh, and Logic was on Def Jam. Yeah, Logic's on Def Jam, and um, I think I want to say Logic opened up one of the shows for Marshall that he did. I think Wembley, and nice. um, they met backstage. That Got was it. their first time meeting backstage, and I was there. I was there. It was a cool meeting, you know, because Logic was just really fanned out. And I say this in a, <laughs> way, in a respectful way, right? He really fanned out. And these are his words, by the way. Logic knows this. He said, <laughs> so he was like really fanned out, and um. Marshall was like really uncomfortable because he didn't like people being fanned out for whatever reason. Okay. And um, that was the beginning of the relationship there. And I, I think he has a pretty good relationship with Paul as well. So um, I don't really know how it happened from there, but I know one day we were in the car and Marshall was like, check this out. And he played it and it was a logic song. It was fire, you know? So I want to say it was a combination of them meeting at the show, Paul's relationship with logic, logic's value at Def Jam. Yep. Yep. Um, he was able to make it happen. So right. Well, because I know, just from the outside looking in, like Paul and M aren't just going out doing verses with anybody just for the hell of it. Not. Absolutely. Right. Not. <laughs> yeah, Logic had to almost like you know prove himself a bit. I'm sure. Yeah, but you know, Logic big dog. He big dog. Yeah. That, so, right. You know? Yeah.